Greetings from Yates Chapel on the campus of Millsaps College in Jackson, Mississippi. I'm Joey Shelton, the Dean of the Chapel and Director of Church Relations here at Millsaps. And it is my great joy to be with you on this latest edition of Reflections from Yates Chapel. Halloween is approaching. In high school, I loved Halloween. That was the time when we really got to have some fun with our classmates, especially doing the, the scary stories and taking trips out to Burnt Bridge where the headless woman hung out. Crazy times. I never really concerned myself with the origins or the meaning of Halloween or any of the religious uh, holidays that accompanied it. But now, as I get a little older, it means something to me. See, 2,000 years ago, the Celtic New Year was celebrated on November 1st. It was known as Samhain. It was a harvest festival. By 43 AD, the Roman conquest of the, of the Celts led to the incorporation of two Roman festivals with Samhain. By 1000 AD, the Christian celebration of All Saints and All Souls Day was added to the mix. Now, all of this took place in what we would know as Ireland and the United Kingdom northern France, and eventually all of these influences came to the U.S. And here, a melding of Native American and various European influences were blended to what I would call stone soup. In a similar fashion, Spanish and indigenous influences gave rise to the Day of the Dead in Mexico, which is more and more prominent in the U.S. Thus, we have our secular and sacred conflation of Halloween and All Saints Day, the second largest commercial holiday in the U.S., only exceeded by another secular and sacred conflation, Christmas. Pagan culture, superstition, empire building, and Christianity all melded together for a 2,000 year in the making, $6 billion holiday. Now, we are all well versed in Halloween and the shenanigans that surround Halloween. But what about All Saints Day? Is All Saints Day ancestor worship? Thus the big question. What do we mean when we identify people as saints in regards to All Saints Day? In a Methodist context, we are referring to the New Testament meaning. Saints are all Christian people of every time and every place. All Saints is a special occasion for us to corporately celebrate life and death as we remember folks who have died, as we remember people of the church universal, as we remember people in our local context. God is the creator of heaven and earth. God, as creator of heaven and earth, is the God of priests and prophets, the God of apostles and martyrs, the God of our mothers and fathers and our children to all generations. All are to be celebrated as part of all saints. Each remembered saint represents us all. We acknowledge that even in the difficulty of grief, as we worship God, we are lifted into a vast legacy of celebration. Worship of God is an all-absorbing, comprehensive act, celebrating the Creator of heaven and earth and celebrating the saints. 
The Mexican celebration of the Day of the Dead really gets it right. They cast aside the somberness of grief and they appreciate the gift of the lives of those who have gone before. We are reminded that through God's grace, we are surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses. We are strengthened to run with perseverance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith. This same Jesus who defeated death on a cross, was resurrected, has shown us God's glory, and as he did with his friend Lazarus, calls the names of the saints from death's tomb commands the unbinding of death's burial cloths and frees us forever to be one with Christ, one with all the saints, one in ministry to all the world. In this season of candy, ghost stories, and horror movies, take time to celebrate God's gift of life. How about we all treat this world with an offering of ourselves in praise and thanksgiving as a holy and living sacrifice of love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control, fruit of the Spirit in union with God's gift of life in Christ through the Holy Ghost. Now this tree won't rot anyone's teeth. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, all of God's people said, Amen.